Good morning, second grade math students. How are you doing today? It's good to be with you. We are on lesson 10-3 in your um, workbook, page 441. We are working with adding three-digit numbers. Okay, and today they're going to ask you to be working with your base 10 blocks. So you can have your base 10 blocks, your place value blocks uh, to use to make models with, or you can draw models of them on your whiteboard with your pen and you need your eraser. Okay, and then um, we can get started. And let's read the I can statement together. I can use models to add three digit numbers and then explain my work. Okay, we're on 10-3, page 441. I can use models to add three-digit numbers and then explain my work. Okay, and um, here is some vocabulary. We have model, which is the number lines like we did yesterday, and uh, drawing visuals of your base 10 blocks. Those are models of the equation or the problem. And then a model versus a strategy, and a strategy is uh, a system that works for you every single time to solve your problems. So strategies could be um, partial, using partial sums or break apart numbers. Okay, and in this lesson you'll also be doing some regrouping. Okay, and that's when you make a bundle and you move it to the next place value in addition and they also mention add-ins and add-ins again are uh, the parts of the equation the two add-ins are what you are adding together oh Rossi's paying a visit <laughs> ignore him <laughs> he snuck in here somehow just a, little, just a minute ago and then the sum is the total the answer in an addition problem photo bombing. <laughs> so we have your add-ins. Those are the two um, parts of the addition uh, problem. And then the sum is the total, is the answer. All right, let's get started. And you'll also need your place value mat. And if you don't have one, please draw one. Okay, so we'll do the solve and share. And the solve and share, use place value blocks to find 200 and 43 plus 354. So use your place value blocks to draw 243 plus 354. So you can go ahead and also use your place value mat. And so if you have place value blocks, the base 10 blocks, and you want to use those, you can start setting them up. First, set up the first um, add end, and I'll draw that for you here 100, 200, and then the tens 10, 20, 30, 40, and then the ones 1, 2, 3. Okay, and then we're making it bigger. We're adding another, um, we're adding another add end. There's another um, part, and the second part is 300. And 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then the total is the sum of the two add ends, the two parts. Okay, so how do we do this? And let's get ready to explain your work. So there's two different ways. You can add the hundreds first 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. You can add the tens next. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then you can add the ones. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 7. And that's one way to do it. Okay. And when we do it here, we would have 200 plus 40 plus 3. 300 plus 50 plus 4. And this is your partial sums. And then we would do 3 plus 4 is uh, 7. 
40 plus 50 is 90, and 200 and 300 is 400. Okay? And then we will add them back together. We have 497. Okay, that is that. This is the model, and this is the strategy. This is the model. I drew them out, and then I counted them up, and this is the strategy. It just explains how I did it. Okay, I added the hundreds, I added the tens, and I added the ones. When I did it with the model, when I did it with the strategy, I added the ones first, the tens, and then the hundreds. Okay, it's the difference between model and strategy. Okay, right? So let's go to the uh, learning visual the visual learning bridge. Race my whiteboard and my hundred grid. And we will start on the top of page 442. And um, he explains you can show each add-in with place value blocks, which is what we did. Join the hundreds, the tens, and the ones, and regroup if you can. Regrouping is only necessary if you have in the ones or the tens more than what should be in there. Okay. So you have more than 10 in the ones and more than 100 in the tens, and then it moves over to the next place value. All right, let's get started with number one. It says use place value blocks to find each sum, regroup if needed. So we have, and I'll write it up here, 223 plus 106, and they give you, um, the place value map right underneath it in your book and you can do it so we can draw them we have 200 20 and 3 we're making our model we have 100 no tens and 6 okay and then we'll count it up we have 300 20 6 plus 3 is 9 329. Okay, and now let's do the next one. And the next one is 149 plus 362. Okay, and then we're going to draw the models. We have 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 9. like my 10 frame, right? And then we're going to add the next add end to get the sum, and we have three hundredths, one, two, three, and then we have 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then we have two, one, two. Okay, so I'm looking and I see that this is a 10. And this is going to have to be moved over here. Okay, let me get this right. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we have another 10. So we cross this off. And all we have left here is one now. And we move that 10 over. We made a bundle, just like we bundle the straws. And we made a bundle, we move it over. And now we can see that we actually have more than 10 tens here. So we're going to have to bundle that and move it over here. So we'll count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So all of that is another bundle that goes over here, goes over here, and becomes another 100. So we're left with 100, okay? So, I mean, 110. Let's count 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. 10, and one more is 11. So one more time, you can practice with the base 10 blocks, the place value blocks, as they call them in this book. And um, that's 
great if you're very, if you're tactile and you like to feel things you can use that that'll help you better understand and uh, you can draw the paste value blocks on your place value mat or if you don't have one you can do it on your whiteboard or pens with or you can use paper I highly encourage practicing with the face value blocks first especially because of this regrouping and um, it's a good idea for you to see the visual model before you move to the strategy. Okay, let's go ahead and do one more. It says do 151 plus 324. Okay, so I'm not going to take the time to erase that. I'm just going to go ahead and draw it on here. So we have the hundreds, and then the hundred, I have 100, and I have 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and one, one. And then I have adding the next add in, and I have 300, one, oops, one, two, three, and then 20, 10, 20, and then four ones. Okay, and then I add it up, I have five ones here. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, I have 75, and I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 475, and that's 3 on page 433. Okay, and now I'm going to end it here really quickly by showing you what I did in the strategy using partial sums. Okay, so 1 plus 4 is 5. 50 plus 20 is 70. 100 plus 300 is 400. And then I add it all back up and I have 475. So this is the strategy. This is partial sums. And this is drawing your model. Okay. All right. Let us read the I can statement again. I can use models to add three digit numbers and then explain my work. So the part about explaining your work is the part about showing the strategy that you used when you made your model. All right. That's it for today, and I 